Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back again with the Christmas Journal and I thought we would make, I think I mentioned last time, we could make a couple of tags that are needed, I think, in the journal. So I thought I also had mentioned that I wanted to do something with these two cuties from the Tim Holtz Christmas dolls, paper dolls. Hey, Leo. Um, and so I thought they might be kind of fun to kind of turn into like little Christmas angels and put them on these tags. So that's what we're going to try and do if Mr. Leo's going to let us do that. So what I did was I printed off, these are Tracy Fox's um, Flutter by Fussy Cut uh, butterflies. And what I wanted to do first is kind of decide which is the right size for each of the little girls to have. Like, that one's kind of cute. I like the, um, I like that pink one too. This is not easy to do. There's a cat. Look in your hand. Come on, darling. Off you go. Go on. Go on. Um, this is the other little girl. I think I like that one for her. But, okay. I'm just going to cut them out as I see the one that I like. And hope we don't catch Mr. Leo's whiskers. So there's one, and we liked the pink one, didn't we, for the other little gal. So I'm just going to cut those, and that way I can just kind of move these out of the way. So we can chat while we fussy cut, uh, and then maybe he will lose interest. Off you go, darling. I do love you, but off you go. So, I'm just going to start by just cutting around. I hope I'm on screen. I think I am. So I'm just going to cut around. Uh, the, the nice thing about using the paper dolls is that you don't have to get fussy and cut all the way into the center because the little, the little doll is going to cover that. So that's the premise. Darling, come on now. Off you go. Go on. Off you go. So, another dark day here, guys. But fortunately, we haven't had any real snow accumulation yet. Nothing that stayed on the ground anyway. Okay, I'm just going to cut across like that. And then we can see... Oh, man. Yeah, she's going to cover... She's going to cover all of those bits. So, okay. Come on. Off you go. Off you go. And let's do this one as well. Leo, no sweetie. Off you go. Go on. He's bound and determined. This today. Well, he. what day isn't he bound and determined? Let's be honest. So, that's not a complaint. I mean, it's his space as well as mine. But, uh, I'm doing something fussy. You can't get anything much more fussy than fussy cutting. Well, you could if you were going to do, you know, like jewelry or something. That would be a little more challenging. So, yeah, how's everybody doing? We're doing great here. It's kind of weird not doing uh, a whole lot of Christmas baking this year because we're, we're just going to be here by ourselves. And uh, as my husband likes to call himself, Will Powerless. If I bake it, he will eat it. Uh, it's funny because if I bake cookies, I will have maybe one cookie a day. Um, he tells me I have great self-control that way. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have the same <laughs> level of self-control. So, oh well. So yeah, I think those are going to work really well. Let's move this stuff out of the way so that you can see a little bit better what I'm doing here. I have those cards just in case we have more time at the end. So what I like to do, because I want the wings to, I want the wings to um, not be entirely attached so that they have some presence, like some texture. I'm going to glue this, well, not with this in it, not with the, the, um, 
needle in it. Oh, I'm going to have to put some more glue in here soon. So, yeah, Will Powerless uh, has a hard time of uh, saying no to sweets. And uh, so he said to me, do not, do not bake like you usually do because you know what's going to happen. And I'm like, yes, okay, fair enough. Uh, but I gotta have some sweets, right? I gotta have some things around. So maybe I'll just like half my batches and um, and also uh, put put things in the freezer, that sort of thing. He never looks in the freezer, so there we go. So I attach it to muslin, and then I'm just gonna cut like so and like so and then we're just going to fussy cut around this a bit as well and that's going to give us our our fun little extra stable wings and I'm not going to cut right to the butterfly I'm going to leave a little bit uh, like it's like an eighth of an inch or so I don't think you'd want much more than that so I'm just going to do do it like so and that will make it so that those wings are far less fragile. That's my theory. Could have inked those beforehand, but that's fine. So that's one set of wings. And we'll do the other set. So what are you guys doing for holiday baking? Are you in a place where you can have family visit and are you doing lots of baking or are you doing lots of baking anyway <laughs> um, I've um, thought about doing some baking and then just trying to send it up uh, send it by courier or something and it usually takes about two days but then I don't know I'm not sure I'd want to eat much that was sent by courier just just because you know I don't have the right I don't have the right um, products to make sure things are uh, well uh, frozen or whatever and you don't know what's going to happen in terms of the temperature that it's going to be uh, kept at with the courier so I mean I look I think the folks that are delivering mail and all that other great stuff are doing a great job. There's probably no sense me adding to their workload. So I'm just making sure that the that the wings are glued down. I feel like the top wings is where it's going to get the most the most um, wear. So let's just kind of ink around these gals. She's so darn cute, this one. Something about babies, and little ones. Super cute. Okay, so, move those scissors out of the way. I want to, let's attach her wings. So I'm going, I'm just looking at her back. I know the wings can to around to here. Like so. See how that gives it a little extra bit there too. I mean you could print on fabric as well, but um, if you do that then you also have to uh, you would have to stabilize it stabilize it a little because to print on muslin isn't going to be thick enough. You'd, You'd almost have to put it on cardstock after doing that. So there's this little cutie as well. A little bit of glue there. So we have those two, and then I thought let's do some paper in the background. Still have from the last time I was here. Um, still have some green. I'm just going to 
stir that off. Maybe we'll set it like so. I think that would be fun. We've essentially got the hard part done by doing the, the gals with the, um, doing the wings. That's the hard part, and you saw how easy that was. That wasn't tough at all, really. And just line that up like so. And I like that you can still see the alteration tag in the background there. I do still have some fun bits from the um, from the Tim Holtz kit. So let's see. Put something like that, or we could have her sitting. We had her like standing on this bright Christmas. That's cute. Okay. Trick is to make confident decisions. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. So we want it. Yeah, flush with the bottom. Okay. So I'm just gonna get some glue in here. You know, you could use the regular Tim Holtz paper dolls too, because um, there are some that have, you know, I mean, not everyone experiences winter like cold weather during Christmas. So, yeah, if I set her like that, isn't that cute? So, what I want to do is I want to put glue on her noggin. And then just down her body, but leaving I'm leaving the uh, the wings out. And our glitter glue is great for this because it also sticks fabric. So that's excellent. So her wing is wings can flop out a little bit. I don't know, it just gives it a little bit more dimension. I'm just going to ink around the outside of this cute tag. Like that. So I think that one's just about done. And like I said, I always do my labels at the end, so we may end up doing labels at another time. Um, and then this gal. feel like we could use some of this um, some of this um, red which would be good and this is from a Christmas uh, digi from Rachel at Roxy Creations. Put it all away. Also move that out of the way. This journal is coming together really nicely, I think. So once again, I want to just set it over here like that. Glue. Glue and uh, thread from the fabric, which we don't need. On this. So, yeah, this is coming to together fairly quickly, I think. Hello, Stella. That's our yellow lab. What's up, baby girl? Hmm? I know. She's a sweetheart, what can I say? And that looks really nice with the, with the colors. So the question is, do we want to have her standing on something like that? Um, I wonder if something square would work better. I think this is too big, so let me just grab my 
some of these out. There's that. Oh, I like this one. And she could just kind of stand her head go like that. Yeah. Well, her. Yes, I think that'll that'll look good. Just wondering whether or not it was too tall. But I don't think so. So we're gonna glue this down on the bottom. That's nice for them to stand on something, but it's fine if they if they're just in midair as well. There's nothing wrong with that. And then we will put our glue on here. So we just kind of make like a triangle to the bottom of her skirt. That's kind of where I judge that I need to have the glue. And then we're going to set it right like so, so that her toes don't cover the words. That's actually a very good location. And see, there's the wings. Super easy to do. Um, and it does, it just gives an extra element, an extra texture, which that's just fun. What's nice about these is that you can journal on the back as well. And I wonder if we want to. My glue up. I wonder if we want to. Uh, I have some ribbon in that box. I think. Aha! Found some ribbon. And I found some rickrack. Okay. So. I'm going to take this off. How are we for time? Oh, we're good. We're good. And I like the idea of putting two of these together to make a little tie. That oh, just seems a little more festive. So let's see how this looks. See if it turns out. So I'm just gonna push those through. glue her head down a little again just to be sure. So push these through. That's making it hard for you all to see I think. Oh I didn't cut the other end of that of the rick rack. Okay. So let's attempt to tie this. Normally I like to do this like right under my nose, but <laughs> but um, I'm at an odd angle. So we've just got these cute ribbons. Cut that at an angle. I don't know how effective that was, but it's all good. If I take it up like that, I like that look better. Let's see if I have my stapler here. I do. I think I'll be able to get it where I want it. Because those polka dots are adorable. Definitely want the polka dots to be seen. Okay, so I'm crossing over like so. There. That gives us a tag. I'll take this one off. And what do I want at the 
top of that. Do I have another ribbon? I do. I'm just checking out my uh, my box here for fibers. Aha! There we go. So I have. Oh my goodness! And that color is perfect for in there. So go like this. And push it through just to make a little loop. And there you go. And probably I'll cut those a little shorter. Like so save those little bits for something else. So that's it. Very simple, but creates a little drama and fun for your journal. Move some of this stuff out of the way. And you could layer up a couple more pieces if you want it. Actually, I like the idea of um, this 25 cents and my stapler because, you know, I just put it away. But why not put, do we want to put it here? Or do we want to put it here? I think we wanted it here, didn't we? Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hmm. Nope, I don't want to cover that. So I'm going to set it here. And I'm just going to staple it a couple of times. And that just adds another element. Let's see, what else do we have? Maybe we could set something on here. No. I have another one of those 25 cents, but oh, how about just some red and then we could set it down there. Just going to ink around that a little bit. And then I'm going to, I'm going to staple it here and here. And then you could actually use that as a tuck spot. So if you had, you know, like a something like that, you could set it in. Let's see, do I have something small that I want to set in there? These are some stamps. So we'll set those in there. Nice. Do I have something long and narrow to set in here? Ooh, how about this? So that says special delivery. Isn't that cute? Really fun and easy to do. Okay, so let's see where we want to set these gals in the journal. Because so I do have a few spots for tags. Um, it seems to me this was a this was a good spot. I'm gonna put her in here, I think. And you've got all that goodness to look at from the bottom. So there's that tag, and this is because it's got the squirrel card, you know. I had to have that. And then I'm going to set her in there, like so. Yeah, and then actually, we could put something on here to decorate it, which would be kind of fun. Like something like this, which is the. Um, from um, also Tim Holtz. So I'm just going to ink around that very quickly. I think that's really cute, as is. And make sure I take that off the back. And what if I'm going to do it like this? I'm going to put some glue on the edge like this. And all the way to here and there. So they might want to tuck something in from the side. We might want to. So there's that. Can you see? There's that. And then um, one of these fun things from Tim Holtz. Oh, this is great. Now I hope it's not too big because I really want to use it back here. 
So this is the a December calendar. Like that. Awesome. That's it guys. That's it for today, I'd say. Um, we did some fun, uh, these fun gals, uh, tags, little angels. And um, join me again next time and we'll continue playing in this Christmas journal. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. And I hope you're all well. Take care, everyone. Bye.